very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen this is my very first video for the year 2021 now as you all must have experienced 2020 was an edge year for a lot of people a lot of people suffered the loss of loved ones a lot of people lost their jobs and their homes and their livelihoods to this dreaded pandemic but 2021 offers hope and I'm here doing my little part in helping to ensure that hope is given at least to some people. I did a story along with little Lenny recently about former reggae star Yvonne Sterling and that story has touched the world people from all over the world has been calling me and reaching out to me but this story that I'm going to present to you is a another like even Sterling or another like Junior Biles we're talking about a man by the name of Willie Francis now I know a lot of you might not know the name Willie Francis but if you listen to his songs songs that has been on the chart for 10 weeks in a row you know that we're talking about an icon and you know we're talking about a legend Willie Francis is 77 years old and his sister saw how we dealt with the Evan Sterling case and she reached out to me bless you so much Empress Opal or she's affectionately called Empress Blessed and she said Big Stone I'm asking you please to help my brother he needs medical attention and he also needs to take care of his bills that has been piling up on him and when I researched this man I found out that he has several hits a matter of fact, let's go to the internet and let me refresh your memory about Willie Francis. Please take a listen. Willie Francis, born Wilbur Francis on the 18th of March 1943 in a little district known as Farm District in South Manchester, Jamaica. He is a ska reggae singer who came to prominence in the late 1960s and throughout the 1970s. He is known for hits such as Ho oh, What A Mini, a top 10 hit in the Jamaican charts. His other notable songs included Right Sour Sap and I'm Going To Change Everything. Willie Francis also produced and is responsible for recording famous reggae singer Cocker T's first song, Searching the Hills, in 1994. Willie Francis worked in England in the late 1970s and lived in Canada for a number of years before returning to Jamaica. Willie Francis, former lover and mother of his three children, was the former partner of the late great Dennis Brown, who was with him until his demise in 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to this song because this artist, this icon, shouldn't be on rough times. But as you know, nothing happened before the Almighty God says it's time. Let's listen to the song that made Willie Francis an also name. Let's take a listen. This song, ladies and gentlemen, came out in 1971. It was a smashing hit and had Jamaica and the rest of the world dancing up a storm. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Short dress. Who made that meaning? 
Francis, ladies and gentlemen, with oh, what a minute. Let's take it to the top again. Boy, that tune that's sweet. We have to help this icon. We have to help this icon, Jamaica. Let's bring him back to the top. Let's bring him back to the top like how we brought Evan Sterling to the top. Let's bring him to the top like how we bring Juno Vibes to the top. I'm not afraid 
generation in the year 2021 and I feel good to be doing this video as my very first video because caring and sharing is my motto no Jamaican must be left behind but you think I broke up you get two songs wait till you hear jukebox let me find it bye will, will the Francis know you see? became a genre of music. Willie Francis, his age is 77 years old. We're going to make him a very special man for the year 2021. You see, Willie Francis is a humanitarian, a general, and one of the artists that is responsible for owning and paving the pathway it's none other than Coco Tea. Yes, Calvin Scott, aka Coco Tea. Now, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, Coco Tea is one of my all time favorite reggae singers, one of the best ever come out of Jamaica. And I look at Coco Tea differently when he introduced to the world on Rebel Salute a little unknown artist by the name of Kathy. And when he brought out Kathy and Rebel Salute and she tore the house down, Coco T didn't stop there. I remember when Gargamel came out of prison and he was performing at the National Stadium and he introduced again Kathy to the world. And she came out, and the performance is history. 
So, cockatiel is a prodigy. Kokoti started singing as early as about 12 years old and his very first song that he ever recorded was done so for Willie Francis. I'm going to play you Kokoti's very first song. I didn't know it until I spoke to Mr. Francis. Take a listen to Kokoti searching the hills. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce a new foundation, a new foundation that is ready for the world. A foundation that we have done a number of work in the latter part of this year. We're talking about the Rudolf Prendergast Foundation, aided by my friend, Sean statement. Sean has been doing great work and his father passed away and he wants to continue on the legacy of his father. But as you know, I've worked with a number of foundation, Humanity Divine Libertation. That is another foundation that I do work with my friend, Mr. Williams was in charge of that foundation. And now I also want to take this opportunity and introduce you to yet another foundation. The Wong Foundation. I want to big up Mark Wong and I also want to big up Shang Wang and none other than my friend Tony Wong. You see, it was yesterday, after I paid a visit to Tracy Ann Ricketts, and um, Shaul Shakur sent $200 to Tracy, and I gave it to Tracy. And while I was driving from Tracy Ann Ricketts, my phone rang, and it was Tony Wong. And he said, Big Stone, I just want to big you up specially, man for the work that you have been doing. I've been watching your video for quite some time and I'm very, very, very impressed with your work. I'm gonna send you a hundred dollars. Give me your information and you can do anything you want with this 100 US dollar. And when he sent it to me, and even five minutes later, Empress Opal, which is Willie Francis' sister, she resided in Canada. She reached out to me and she, she said, Big Son, I want you to help my brother. And ladies and gentlemen, I didn't hesitate. I said to myself, I know I'm going to have to spend some money in gas from this $100, but I'm going to make sure I take $10,000 from this $100 that Tony Wong gave to me for me to do whatever I want to do with it. And I want to make it as a special gift to none other than Willie Francis. He needs it. I mean, I'm hungry too, but he's more hungry than me. His entire need, he has medical expenses, he has living expenses. So I want to do something good for the beginning of the year and donate $10,000. Now Tony Wong has also pledged to give more, to give more to Will Francis. I reached out again to Sean Prendigas from the Ruler of Prendigas Foundation and I told him about, because see Sean is a, a musical genius. Sean knows every old time artist as he calls them, their catalog. 
And when I reach out to Sean, he said, Big Soon, I don't know how much I'm going to give as yet. But definitely come Monday morning, you will be taking also a kiss from the Rudolph Prendigas Foundation. So Empress Opal, when I met you face to face, when we face talk yesterday, you cried. And I felt your tears and I started to cry. But I just wanted to find out how much you really care about your brother. So ladies and gentlemen, I asked Empress Opal this question. I said, what do you want for your brother, Willie Francis? You know what she told me? With tears running down her eyes. She said, Big Stone, I just want my brother to be happy. She just wants her brother to be happy. And I felt so honored and humbled to know that she can see the work that I have been doing along with one of the biggest, most fantastic team. Because remember I told you, it's the team that make the dream work. Nothing that I do, I do it by myself. God has given me the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do a lot of things and to utilize my skills. But I still need people. And that's why I'm reaching out to you now, please. The sister's gonna start a GoFundMe for him. And come Monday morning, I'm gonna sit down with Willie Francis and talk to him and find out his pain and his struggle, and I'm gonna bring them to the world. But I just wanted to reintroduce you first before you meet him, this legend and this icon. Let's honor our icon in life. Let's do for them what we should be doing for each other. You know, this is the beginning of a new year, and let's start off the new year with sharing and caring. It doesn't take much, just a little. And sometimes, even if you don't have a little, share it with a kind word or a kind expression. Look at each other more and say, I love you. I care about you. And sometimes, if you give a person a million dollars, in comparison to tell a person, I love you and I care for you, that one million dollar don't mean anything. It can help you yes, to take care of the necessities of life, but the healing of the heart, the healing of the mind, I love you means much, much more than that. So today, I want you to go back online and Google the name Willie Francis, W-I-L-L-I-E, F-R-A-N-C-I-S and you'll hear some of the most beautiful songs that paved the way for Jamaica in reggae music to be the reggae music that we so honored and so cherished right around the world. I love you so much because it was a hectic year, it was a hellish year for all other people. But as Muta Baruka says, if we can survive 2020, and all of us who are watching this video did, I know the struggles was rough, but guess what? We did, we made it. And guess what? You know what I meant to say? We can never die. So even if we die in the physical flesh, but we as a people, the spirituality will continue forever. Tony Wong, I salute you. Thank you for reaching out to me, Tony. Thank you for the $100 that you gave me. I'm putting that $100 to use. I am giving it to Willie Francis. Sean Prendergast, what can I say? What a year it has been for the movements. And I want to thank each and every one of the crew from Big Stone Records. You know what I mean? We're talking about Roderick Stubbs and Marine Gutsmore, King Ainoa, of course, my son, Rod Deal. Thank you so much for being a part of greatness. And of course, I couldn't leave out my cameraman, Snappers. Yeah, we're talking about Patrick Romans. Thank you guys for supporting me and helping me along the way. And thank you to all my friends who have been there for me in kind words, or thoughts, or prayers. Thank you for helping me to come this far. And I intend 
not to let you down, but to continue to work assiduously for the betterment of my people. The Honorable Marcus Garvey said, if you lack confidence, you're not just once but twice defeated, but with confidence you have won before you even started. So I know I have won. I know Willie Francis will rise again. His Imperial Majesty Emperor Ali Selassie, I says, is the inability or the inactivities of people that could have acted and make a difference in their actions, but they never did, that causes evil to triumph over good. I love you. Please, please help me to rise a legend, the great Willie Francis. Please like, please make your comment, and please share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Guess what? I'm going back to listen to all oh, what I mean because guess what? I hit me grow apart. So we need you know, argument for Uno. See that? I wanna hear them. 